sniffing pugs. I have no idea how this game works, but with a name like that, I have to at least look. So this should be very exciting. Sniffing hugs. You know, we see a name like that walking bench floor, you have to at least look. I mean, that's the marketing right there. You know, it's good to have a title that gets people's attention. Right? Yeah, so, um, you and your name is? My name is Gabe. Gabe? I am the CEO of Space Beagles, which is a studio that me and my fiance founded. Awesome. Hard to make games and bring more joy. We're basically making butt sniffing bugs with a bunch of our friends. <laughs> it is a cooperative explorathon, like I like to call it, which is basically means that you are two bugs and you explore a park with friends and you just see what happens. You do a little dog thing, so everything in the world is interactable. So you can bark on everything you want. You could also poop on everything you use as you want it, as pugs would. And really it's just about experiencing cooperative joy and making people realize that games are for everyone and it's about having fun. Right. So what inspired butt sniffing pug? Well, my fiance Michelle, she loves pugs a lot. Right. Wave! Wait, where are you? <laughs> there she is. All right. Uh, she loves Pugs a lot, uh, and me and my buddy Theory, who I did a lot of game jams with, we were making this Pug game because she likes Pugs, it was really bad. It was like competitive multiplayer, and it was like making Pugs on the screen and confusing. And I'm like, oh my god. And then she had the idea, like, just me and Keith, anybody can play. We're just exploring and have fun and poop and, you know, do stuff like the dog. <laughs> do Pug yeah. things. We'll so do that. That's the one that, like, shot off. There was a exhibit called Low Control GDC. Okay. It's this exhibit where if you submit a, like, unique, like, handmade controller, you get to the expo for free. So, like, why not make a butt controller and get to this expo? Yeah, as you can see here, we have the controller for this, or a pug's butt and a giant tennis ball. So the giant tennis ball simulates, like, kind of like the doggy running. Uh -huh. You have two pug power buttons, a left power and a right power. And there's obviously more than two abilities, so if you want more abilities, you have to sniff the pug butt by tapping the butt when you're near the other dog. And what that does is that gets the abilities to each other and encourages cooperative exploration rather than separately. Okay, so is this gonna be like compatible with consoles based on like, yeah. a controller design? Totally. So is this like, can you plug this in? Uh <laughs> so we're going to Steam and PlayStation. We're doing the Kickstarter so we can actually make it beyond a prototype. Okay. You know, like, like, yeah, the controller's like, whatever. Like, we made it for fun. You okay. know? People want it, so it's like, why not partner with somebody like Able Gamers mm -hmm. who hacks video game controllers so kids with disabilities can play? You okay. know, and it's like, hey, then some of ESP goes to charity. They help us out, and maybe we make a giant trackball that you can play with or without a butt. You know? Because that's what it is. It's a giant mouse. And our goal is to make just a game that's literally a game that anybody can play, a little virtual world that everybody can have fun in. So okay. So is this a game that can be compatible with controllers, or can you yeah. only use the butt sniffing yeah, butt? Our goal is to make it, like, it's about accessibility. We want it, like, I want my grandpa and okay. the kids that me and Michelle even said to be able to play it, you know? Okay. Because ideally, this is going to be like a giant virtual world, kind of like an Animal Crossing Minecraft hybrid, where you have like a central hub, and a full-on day-night cycle, and different regions that you can unlock and explore, and that's why we're doing the Kickstarter, it's because we need that money to make that content. Because this is like just a three minute demo, okay. just like a taste of like what we want it to be. And it's like, yeah, maybe we'll use a Kickstarter to make like butt controllers, <laughs> and you can have them or you cannot have them, you know, whatever you so, want. So I, I just feel like it'd be awkward as my, hey grandpa, you want to play this game of butt sniffing pug? You gotta <laughs> control, you gotta control a pug's ass, it's great. <laughs> hey, you know, I was in Texas and I had kids play it, and they left and they brought back and they brought back their grandpa. And he was really? like, yeah, and he was like, I just want to crap. Like, how do I that, grab my things? <laughs> <laughs> you have to swim through your wife's butt and then you grab about things. And he was exploring this game with his wife, and he's like, I get it. That's I, amazing. It's just about having fun. If I can reach that demographic of everybody and not just pigeonhole my game into a genre like shooters and puzzles, then I feel like I've done something right, providing people a game that anybody can play. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I've, all, I've seen a lot of games at PAX here this weekend. This is by far the most unique. So, <laughs> it's, it's fun. I'll give you a prop. Butt sniffing pugs. I can't Kickstarter wait to in early October. Kickstarter early October. All right. I can't wait to play this game I'm and honored. see Thank what you. the hell is gonna happen here. Thanks, man. Bravo, bravo, sir, bravo. All right. Thank you very much for talking with us. I can't wait to play your game. All right.